Let's just bring you some breaking news now. And an announcement is expected shortly on a proposed European Super League, a breakaway league which would upend the structures of both domestic and European football, as revealed by Sky News last year. Our city editor, Mark Kleinman, who broke the story, joins me now on the phone. So, Mark, what more can you tell us? Well, there's some very big developments expected in the next few hours about the proposed European Super League, which will be a, a new format launched in competition to UEFA's Champions League format. Now, UEFA is planning to announce uh, some proposed changes to the Champions League uh, tomorrow, but this breakaway rival league is expected to be announced tonight. It will include uh, England's top six clubs, including Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea. And my understanding is that 12 clubs from across Europe, including the six biggest English clubs, have now uh, signed up to this new format. The others uh, include Barcelona, Juventus and Real Madrid. And this will be an incendiary move because of the timing uh, coming just hours before UEFA is supposed to announce details of the revised uh, Champions League format. Now, uh, some of the details are still sketchy and we will have to wait until tonight or potentially tomorrow uh, to find out fuller details about exactly what this new league will involve. But what I reported last October and still stands today, is that the new league includes uh, staggering sums of money that will be handed to the participating clubs. About $6 billion uh, has been committed to this new project by the American bank, uh, JP Morgan. And this will come after, of course, European clubs' finances have been hard hit by the coronavirus pandemic, which is one of the reasons why uh, so many of Europe's biggest clubs have decided that now is the right time to form a European Super League after years of on-off discussions about such a project. Now, I can also reveal this afternoon uh, that the Premier League has uh, issued already a, a robust rebuttal of this European breakaway league plan. Uh, in the last hour, the Premier League's chief executive, Richard Masters, has written to all 20 Premier League clubs in England uh, saying... Uh, this venture cannot be launched without English clubs and we call upon any club contemplating associating themselves or joining this venture to walk away immediately before irreparable damage is done. And Mr Masters goes on to say in this uh, memo to clubs, we do not and cannot support such a concept. Premier League rules contain a commitment amongst clubs to remain within the football pyramid and forbid any club from entering competitions uh, beyond those listed in the Premier League's rules. I cannot envisage any scenario where Premier League board permission would be granted. So this really sets the scene for, for a, a, an explosive tussle between uh, the top power brokers in European football over these breakaway plans. Uh, we've yet to get confirmation from any of the participating English clubs about their involvement. But remember that over the last few months, whenever uh, the likes of Ed Woodward, who runs Manchester United, have been asked about these uh, European Super League plans, He's at attempted to dismiss or distance uh, Manchester United from any such plan. It looks like uh, there has been a lot of behind-the-scenes negotiation in recent months, and we are now going to hear in the coming hours about those plans coming to fruition. Uh, a very, very important day uh, for European football and for the future of English football, potentially.